Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So here I've got a random module that I picked out from the posters here um, supply box if you like. And uh, let's take a look at it and uh, and see what it is, how it works etc. So to start with, what have we got here? We've got, well, I suppose the most important thing to look at is the chip. So here the chip is LM2596S and I, I think I know what that is straight away. It's um, a switching step-down converter. That's just a guess, though. I'll have a look at the documentation in a minute. So, I believe that's what it is. Uh, so, therefore, this whole module will be a step-down thing, by the looks of it. So, the idea is you get a voltage, and you step it down to something more stable, and it regulates it as well. So, what have we got here? Um, so, obviously, you want to connect the voltage to that. We've got a diode, which I don't know the purpose of the diode. We've got a capacitor, which will be a... I think it'll be a smoothing capacitor or something. We've got a transistor over there, and I have no idea what that does. We've got an in button. What could that be for? That's probably... if you press in, it probably tells you the in voltage. If you press out, it probably tells you the out voltage, maybe. We've got an inductor, which is 330-something. Uh, I know it's in Henry's, so micro Henry's or something. I don't know. Um, we'll find out. Got a potentiometer, and that's pretty obvious. That will be like that will be in a feedback loop or something um, to be able to change the output from the chip here. And then we've got another capacitor, which is a I would imagine it's a smoothing capacitor. So you can see here that the step down uh, idea that I had seems to make sense because you can see here this is a 50 volt. Uh, capacitor and this one's 35 so so maybe the maximum is probably I don't know well it's hard to say the maximum will probably be 50 volts or somewhere near that and then the maximum output will be somewhere near 35 volts I would imagine probably less um, and then we've got the output um, so um, I mean there are different modules like this there's the XL module and all this sort of stuff but I wonder what the capability of this is. Usually, uh, they're designed for, you know, say, one amp or something like that. But I wonder if this can handle any more than that. Well, we'll find out. But to start with, I'm just going to have a look at the documentation. Alright, so since the LM2596 is the brain of the module, if you like, um, if we look at its data sheet, we should find out exactly what it's doing. So. So here we go, LM2596, simple switcher, Texas Instruments, blah blah blah. So, simple switcher, it, that indicates to me that it's a switching uh, thing, and switchers are generally more, well, not generally, they are more efficient. Power converter, uh, that tells me that it's it's designed to, to power something, it's on a power rail, it's nothing to do with signals, um, therefore it's designed to deliver a certain amount of amps. 150 kilohertz, that'll be something to do with the switching frequency or something like that. 3 amps, so there we go, deliver 3 amps, but I don't know if that's minimum, maximum recommended. Step down voltage regulator, right, and regulator is something that uh, keeps it set to a certain voltage, and it should be smoothing it out as well. So let's have a look, adjustable output version, that's what I've got, and let's see what it says. Uh, Three amps output load core right. So input range up to forty volts, and that explains why we've got an input uh, capacitor of fifty volts. So right, we can input up to forty volts. Requires only four external components. Yep, doesn't matter to us because it's already done. Uh, transistor to transistor logic shutdown capability. I don't really know what that means. High efficiency. That's good. Uses standard inductors. Yep, cool. Um, integrated circuits that provide all the active functions of a step-down book switching regulator capable of driving three amps load with excellent line and load regulation. And um, let's have a look at the diagram here. Um, this is roughly the same as the module, so that's good to know. And let's see if there's any other information around here. Let's just have a quick look through. There's a diagram of the actual module. All right, absolute maximum ratings. So. Maximum supply voltage 45 volts, so we're going to say maximum probably about 40, which is what it says over there. Um, power dissipation, yeah, whatever, that doesn't matter to me. Supply voltage, maximum 40 volts. Thermal, yep, doesn't matter. 
output voltage. So, oh, for the 3.3 .3 version, so adjustable version. All right, feedback voltage, yep, that doesn't really matter, it's already dealt with. In and out, load 3 amps for 12 volts, okay, so it gives you a rough idea, 73% efficiency, which uh, sounds pretty low, but for a book converter, that's actually quite good. Um, so, current limit, current limit is 7 amps. Typical is 4.5 amps and minimum is 3.6. So this can deal with 3.6 amps according to that at 25 degrees. So okay, three amps. Uh, this is the thing about good quality modules. They they tend to uh, derate their own modules. Whereas you know with lithium ion cells for example, they overrate them. So if they want to sell them, these cheap uh, Chinese manufacturers, they'll say this is 4,000 milliamp hour when you know it's not. But they do that so that people buy it. But anyway, this company is derating its its uh, modules. It says here in the specification, minimum 3.6 amps. But yeah, it sells at 3 amps. So you can guarantee that it can allow 3 amps. So that's good to know. And that's pretty much all I wanted to know. Um, I don't really care about the rest of this because the, the uh, company which has created the module has already gone through all of this for me. So, so I'm not particularly interested. But, so that's enough info for now. It's a, a book converter. We can convert from 40 volts maximum to, uh, well, to whatever we want, less than that. Um, so let's go back now and let's play about with it and see what happens. Of course I'm going to have to wire up the um, uh, you know, DC power supply, so I'll do that first. So let's screw these things in. I always have problems with these. It's in nice and tight, and now with the next one. Okay, that's in too. Right, I always seem to overexpose in these videos, so I'll just turn these lights off. And hopefully you can see, well I can see it here, it says 3 point, sorry, 5.3 volts. So that's the input voltage, so I'm going to put this right up now, as much as my power supply will go. I assume you press the in button to find that out, 31.4, you press out I assume it says the out voltage which is nothing at the moment. So <coughs> I don't know if it, if it needs a circuit or what, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw the uh, terminals of the multimeter in here and we'll see if it makes it work and I don't know if it needs a load or whatever but let's try it out I'll push that in there push that in there right so it's saying oops I can't screw it in see it's saying 19.2 so we want out 19.1 yeah oh, this is so awkward this thing 19.1, the voltmeter is saying 19.2 so let's just change this, so we've got 31 in so we should be able to get pretty much anything out under than 31 sorry, under 31.5 volts, so let's keep going and see what it does here so I don't want to I don't want to push it over 31 because it's not supposed to do that oh it can't anyway so, so that's quite good, so let's go back Oh, 5 volts and this is saying 5.1 volts so this turns the display on or off and this one um, flips between the in and out voltage if you've got it on so we'll turn it on and then let's see the output voltage now let's see the input voltage now let's see output now let's turn it off and that's obviously to save um, energy so the ultimate test really is to uh, put a load on this thing of course and try and draw 3 amps and um, I've got loads and are resistors because the resistor is effectively a load so I've got a box of miscellaneous resistors here and let's see if any are appropriate so to start with um, to draw 3 amps the thing's going to have to be quite beefy so it's not going to be anything like this it'll be one of these probably but that's 1 ohm so um, 5 volts divided by 1 is 5 so that will be that will draw 5 amps um, 
and that's not quite what we want. Um, 0 0.1 ohm, that would be crazy. 5 volts divided by 0 0.1, that would be a crazy thing. What's this one? 8 ohms.